come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the corners of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it. His hands prepared the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Almighty God, we confess to you now our sins and the sins of the whole world. We have not loved you with all of our hearts, nor have we loved our neighbours as ourselves. We ask you therefore to forgive what we have been to help us to amend what we are and to direct what we shall be, that we may walk in your ways and delight in doing your will. We confess to you our sins of carelessness. We have polluted the oceans and the seas laid waste the rainforests, 
brought precious species of plants and animals to extinction, destroyed ancient habitats. We seek your forgiveness. We confess to you the sins of racism and prejudice. We have failed to see the image of Christ in every child of every race. Treated our neighbours with disdain. Sought to protect our privileges and perpetuated injustice. We seek your forgiveness. We confess to you the sins of inequality. We have stood for the privileges of the few instead of the rights of all. For power vested in rank and possession instead of authority rooted in love. We seek your forgiveness. We confess to you the sins of war. We have failed to live in peace with our neighbours. We have spoken of peace while building weapons of war. We have built walls to divide instead of bridges that unite. We seek your forgiveness. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This reading is taken from Exodus chapter 19, verses 2 to 8. They had journeyed from Rephidim, 
entered the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom, a holy nation. These are the words you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one. Everything that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures for ever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading for today comes from Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 and we're reading through to chapter 10 verse 20 and I'm reading from the new revised standard version of scripture. The harvest is great, the labourers few. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, for they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus. Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, 
raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for labourers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace be upon it. But if it's not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave the house or the town. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at the time. For it is not you who will speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's Spirit is in my heart, He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do, what I have to do.
Loving God, your Son Jesus Christ sends out his disciples to proclaim the Kingdom of God. As we journey forth in your name, we pray for ourselves and for the people whose paths we cross. May we travel with courage, keeping not just to the well-worn pathways, but walking where people live in danger and where all our prejudices may be challenged. May we travel with hope, bringing light into the lives of the anxious, walking at the side of those who feel alone, speaking the names of those who cannot speak for themselves and sharing the pain of those who are hurt. May we live, travel with generosity, feeding those who are hungry and giving water to those who are thirsty, clothing those who are naked and welcoming the homeless into our homes. May we travel with compassion, visiting the sick, comforting the bereaved, befriending the lonely and seeking to heal the wounds that scar our world. May we travel with conviction, serving you and our neighbours, not only when it is convenient, but even when the cost is great and the demands are heavy. May we travel with love, the love that crosses all barriers and does not count the cost, love that welcomes in the stranger, love that sees your image in our every child of every race. May we travel with joy, infectious, unrestrained, welcoming and spirit-filled, so that others may walk at our side and join, join us on the journey. Today we make our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Here I have heard you calling 
Is it? 